Tyson Fury has become over his last two fights where he's had the most success against uh, Deontay Wilder I strangely think that style coming into the fight with that mindset with the aggression with the come forward mentality with the I'll take what you got to give what I've got I think that works perfectly well for, for Dylan White and those are the words of David Hay the two weight division champion of course we know that he's had his time in the sun his success in the ring and we know his predictions haven't been on point in the last three the four the five fights i mean he got so many fights or predicted so many fights wrong <laughs> so at some point people have to ask okay well how much credibility do you really have david you know let's just be real let's be honest for a minute because you know he got a lot of predictions wrong you know and it's like okay well he's a fighter so he knows boxing and then boxing you know you you pretty much go off the things that you already know but then the things that he's predicted are no good <laughs> except for now okay and the strange thing about it, I normally, if you say David Hay, I normally wouldn't even agree with you. But in this case, the things that I've said, as you guys know what my prediction is, because my fight prediction came out earlier today, okay? It came out earlier today, and it was the same thing. It was based off what Tyson Fury, or how Tyson Fury was going to approach this fight, and that plays into the hands of Dillian White. Bars. OK. See, but it's a twist with me because I do know those guys sparred Tyson Fury claims that, hey, Dillian White ain't got any better. But if Tyson Fury was already the best, if he was already this super fast, great, agile, but huge boxer like he like we know he can do, there's no really uh, improvement. OK, it's no improvement to someone that's already the best. He just switched styles up. That's a totally different situation. But strangely enough, like I will agree with David Hay, if Tyson Fury, now that depends on what he decides to do. If he comes in uh, charging Dillian White, he gives up a lot of his attributes. And I've, I said that yesterday. I've said that the day before. I've said that the week before and the week before that. And then we will see if he takes the punches from Dillian White and Dillian White takes punches from him, who will fall? But nonetheless, on the promotional end, it should deem to be one hell of a fight. Okay. But Dillian White is fighting for a lot more than just the WBC. He's fighting against the WBC. So we will see who can take whose punch. David Hay has Dillian White by stoppage. You guys tell me what you think of David Hay's prediction on this matter of course please subscribe and you guys been counterpunch peace